Hi everyone, I'm Laurenzio and in this video I'm going to talk about all Mega Man games for the Nintendo GameCube. Mega Man Network Transmission is the classic experience, but it feels butchered. The controls are good, but the animations look ugly. And not only this, but the level designs are poor. Mega Man games were always hard games to play, where you had to do a lot of trial and error. But at least in the older ones, you know that when you messed up, it was because you lacked attention or that the enemy was tough. Here on the other hand, you'll end up dying many times because the enemy is placed in some impossible angles from which you can't hit the enemy unless you do a risky jump or get some damage on the way. The game is harder, but, but not in a satisfying way harder. The poor placement of, of the enemies and the plain and dull level designs along with some ugly animations makes this one worth skipping from the Mega Man Marathon list. I don't really recommend you play the game. Mega Man Anniversary Collection is a bundle of classic Mega Man games. I'm not going to review each one of them as it will make the video way too long, but I'm going to list what the bundle includes. So the bundle includes the classic Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Mega Man 4, Mega Man 5, Mega Man 6, Mega Man 7, Mega Man 8 the PS1 version, Mega Man The Power Battle, which you can unlock in the Mega Man 3 game after defeating Needleman, Mega Man 2, the Power Fighters, which you can unlock in Mega Man 7 after defeating Junkman. And having 10 games, this bundle is a must buy. I mean, so much awesomeness on a single disc is incredible. Mega Man X Command Mission is a turn based game. Later on, you'll play as a team with other characters you'll encounter boss fights and, well, you know the drill in turn-based games. You also get power-ups. Overall, it's a good turn-based strategy game. It isn't jaw-dropping or revolutionary, but with the power-up system, it manages to be a little unique. Though, as I said, it doesn't stand out, but it's still fun to play, especially if you are into turn-based games. Mega Man X Collection is like the previous game meaning that this one compiles multiple retro games into one disc. And this bundle includes Mega Man X, Mega Man X2, Mega Man X3, the PlayStation version, Mega Man X4, Mega Man X5, Mega Man X6, and Mega Man Battle and Chase, unlocked after completing the first three X games. Having seven good old retro games, it's a good deal. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.